In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys my monthly reset routine that sets me to become the better version of myself, which we all want. Keep watching for some tips on what you could do to reset for the new month. showing you guys my monthly reset routine. I love to reset whatever it is, cleaning, doing self-care, getting new goals for the month, whatever it is, just to start the new month right. I'd love to do it at the end of the month or in the beginning of the month. And this video is going to be uploaded in the beginning of the month. So this is kind of like the beginning of month type of thing. It's currently June 4th. So yeah, we're just going to be deep cleaning my room. I just came back from the trip and I know I say this a lot, but I literally just came back from another trip and I didn't vlog for this one, but my room is just a huge mess and I want to do some self-care because I haven't been feeling the best so I just need to do some self-care setting new goals all that stuff but I want to do first is plan so that I know like an idea of what I need to do from step to step like cleaning my room what do I do after that like what do I do after that do I you, you know my mind is like all over the place right now but you guys kind of get what I'm saying okay so I have my laptop here I'm going to plan out everything that I'm gonna do for this video because I like being more organized I like knowing what I'm gonna do it's also a gloomy day out so that's why I have like comfy clothes on nobody asked but so I use this website called Notion. I literally plan everything on there. Like I plan my days, I plan my months, my videos that I'm gonna film. I definitely recommend using this. It's just amazing. Okay, we're gonna name it monthly reset and put June. Also, I love doing to-do lists because you can always like check it out and then it just feels so satisfying after you do something that you didn't wanna do and then you're like, bam, you just check it out after it. It just feels amazing. Like you literally did amazing at it. I, I sound so weird. I, okay, first thing I wanna do is unpack and do laundry. So I seriously haven't unpacked yet and it's been a week and so I have to unpack it's literally right here Like my luggage is right here. It's really bad So I need to unpack all of that and then do laundry because everything in here obviously is dirty and I haven't even like cleaned it We didn't have like a washer or a dryer in the hotel So I'm just gonna be cleaning all of that. So definitely I have to do laundry cleaning room is a must I want to take off my dirty sheets and put new freshly sheets wipe down tables plus more I don't know what else I'm gonna do but while I'm cleaning my room I know there's gonna be more like vacuuming my floors. There's a lot I have to do I want to clean my car because my car hasn't been cleaned ever since I left for my trip Kind of just vacuum wipe down add car refreshener self-care So that's doing like a face mask bath. Maybe I don't know if I'm gonna take a bath But maybe bath journaling and I don't know what else but we'll see and the last thing I want to do is setting new goals Which I love doing every month because honestly it gives me motivation for the next month It doesn't like make me think like oh my god. I have to do this I have to do that it kind of is like I have to do this to get to my goal So then I just get motivated because obviously my goals is something that I really really want So then I'll just like keep working for it and when I write it down I it makes me feel like I can like literally do it Like I will do it because I wrote it down Like I'm not gonna not do it and like not work for it And then at the end of the month look at my goals and like see that I achieved nothing So that's kind of like my motivation and so I love setting new goals Especially when I'm resetting for the new month and that's pretty much the list I have like five things to do but there's a lot of things in those little things because like cleaning room it's just not cleaning my room it's taking out the sheets all that stuff and then cleaning car and not only cleaning my car it's gonna take like around maybe five hours so we're gonna do this here's my luggage i did unpack like a couple of things because obviously i had shampoo and conditioner in here and i needed it so i took it out but i didn't really like take out all my clothes which i feel like the easiest part is unpacking and not like packing packing is definitely the hardest it takes more time it takes more dedication literally like effort to choose your outfits and see what you're going to be wearing how many days you're going to be staying there so i feel like unpacking is literally just taking out your clothes putting it in the wash and dryer getting it out folding it and you're done we're gonna play some la da da da
to be adding these pillowcases that are silk pillowcases which are amazing i used to have one but i don't even know where it went so i was like needing a new one and i'm gonna be finally adding some new ones and i'm so excited they're by kitsch and that brings us to today's sponsor kitsch thank you kitsch for sponsoring today's video i specifically struggle with hair breakage and also hair loss ever since i dyed my hair which obviously is gonna happen but ever since i've been on the lookout for growing my hair out because i've always wanted long also healthy hair and kitsch has been doing an amazing job with that i love the rice water shampoo and conditioner that they have they make my hair smell amazing they're actually scented with therapeutic essential oils with no sulfates parabens or phthalates not only that they keep my hair feeling super soft super shiny they are also better for the environment because you're not using plastic bottles they are just solid bars and they are vegan and cruelty free which i love everything about that literally gives me the confidence that i need because everything starts with the hair if your hair is not feeling the best you're not going to feel looking the best so here's the before of me using kitsch's shampoo and conditioner obviously she's not looking the best she's super frizzy just overall needed a good wash and here is the after she looks super clean feels super clean and if you guys could feel my hair it is super super soft and not only that you can see the huge difference with the frizz they also have this amazing shower caddy which you just add in your shower and is basically just used for your shampoo and conditioner bars which are so convenient whenever you're showering you have like a place just to put your bars it's just amazing and they obviously have the silk pillowcase which not only gives you the best beauty rest it helps with frizz and retains breakage but as well retaining skin moisture helps reduce breakouts and lastly is gentle on eyelashes eyebrows and most skin and hair types which i love 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 about that they also have so many beauty accessories to care for hair like the microfiber towel for after your shower claw clips that are so adorable and also very convenient to put your hair up scalp massager which is important for growing your hair because hair growth all starts at your scalp if you didn't know so it is amazing that they provide that for you and lastly they have the comb if you want to try kitsch you can use the link in my description or use my code for 25 percent off your first order they ship in the u.s and to 27 more countries thank you kitsch again for sponsoring today's video <laughs> I just added my new freshly pillow sheets and now i'm just waiting for my sheets for my bed because they are in the washer and dryer so i'm just gonna wait for that in the meantime i'm just going to clean my room obviously it's not looking cute and deep cleaning everything literally look at my mirror you guys i was blowing out my candle and then like the wax went everywhere like the candle it just went everywhere when i blew it out and i was like i'm not cleaning that up it was literally like 12 p.m so i just left it there but i really really need to clean that up I literally almost dropped it and it would be so bad if I dropped that because these are like pills in here and it's like open So I was holding it from like the cap part and if that fell that would have been some bad luck there can't put anything on the shelf because it's literally falling like it's slanted so much to the point where i'm like scared to put anything on it i could put like maybe a book 
I got so many like cute notebooks and stuff like that from this company called Paper and it's so, so adorable. I'm gonna try to style it. Wait, that's actually kind of cute. That looks ridiculous. Okay, I think like one is fine. All right, here's the best it's gonna get to because I am so scared to put anything else on it and it looks ridiculous with a bunch of like notebooks around it. So I think I'm just gonna add one, super simple. I think it looks really cute. I kind of like reorganized everything and I actually really, really like it. Now we're gonna move on to this part, which is my nightstand. We have this part cleaned and this part cleaned. Well, it looks like a mess right now because I obviously was cleaning my shelves, but it's gonna look way better after I'm like done with cleaning. We're gonna focus on this part now. So right now I'm basically just going to be cleaning my car. I'm not gonna be vacuuming. I don't have like a vacuum that's like good enough and I don't feel like going to the vacuum place. So I won't be vacuuming, but I have a lot of things that I need to take out of my car and just like wiping down everything because I can see dust everywhere on like my screen. And it's just really bad. You guys, I'm literally like sweating. I feel like you guys can see, but I was sweating when I was cleaning my room. I'm trying to go so fast because I don't wanna like take super long to do all this simple stuff, like cleaning my room and cleaning my car. But I feel like I need to slow down a little bit and take my time. But my room is like really clean. I'm gonna show you guys after. I literally don't have any other wipes, so I'm using this. Hopefully this works the same way. gosh i actually have gum in here i was thinking i didn't have gum at all in my car but i actually do i only have two pieces of gum so that's cool that's really nice i was about to like go to Publix and buy gum in a couple days here is the finished look of my room. I'm finally done. I cleaned my nightstand. Obviously this nightstand is very old. So there's like some marks on it and it literally won't come off when I clean it or like wipe it down. So that's kind of embarrassing. I kind of like need a new nightstand. This They don't even sell this anymore because I got it when I was in like third grade, elementary school. But I believe it's from Wayfair. I added new freshly sheets on my bed and it literally, like I can't wait to go into bed later because I just know it's gonna feel so good and so cozy, especially with those silk pillowcases. My nightstands all clean all the shelves in my room are also super clean i really love this part of my shelves i don't know why but i'm just like obsessed right now with the way i put everything i feel like it just looks so cute there's some purple there's some pink i want to add some more plants though because i feel like that would be really cute i never gave you guys like a little tour of this dresser but yeah i just moved my dresser from over there to over here and i just feel like it looks a lot better i added my circle mirror that's why i don't have a circle mirror on my vanity right now because i took that one and put it here because I just thought it would be cuter. I saw it all over Pinterest. And I was like, you know what? I'm gonna add the circle mirror in the middle of my dresser. I added some plants. I got this new Echo Dot, which I'm obsessed with. I definitely recommend getting it. I added it on my Amazon storefront so you guys can go check it out. Some jewelry and my gua sha, my vitamin organizer, and a bunch of other little things that I added to. My mirror is also super clean. Finally, she's clean. Like this thing gets dirty in two days, like literally 0.2 seconds. There's a bunch of dust on it already. And I can literally do nothing about it. I as well cleaned my closet. I didn't really film me cleaning my closet like I totally forgot to but I just organized all of my skincare products in this like little bin. I did my claw clips, my makeup bag, all of these planners that I just recently got from paper. Organized up here a little bit. Over here it looks a lot better. There was a bunch of boxes everywhere. I brought them all down when I went to go clean my car. All of these clothes are going to go up on my Depop so go follow my Depop if you guys want to. I'm going to be posting it next week or they'll probably be up by the time you guys are watching this so definitely go check it out i've been putting so many clothes up just kind of taking things out that i don't wear and i feel like other people would wear so yeah go check them out if you want to
You guys, I just broke my other camera. I, I shouldn't even be laughing. Be I'm literally laughing because I'm nervous because that was my third camera properly of the year. So I'm using my big camera right now, but that other camera is like my small little vlog camera that I love vlogging with like to go anywhere. And now this sucks because I didn't even explain to you guys like what I did. So basically I put that candle on. That was like the last clip on that camera. And then when I finished lighting up that candle, I hit my hand like this, I guess, and it fell in the bathtub and I literally picked it up and it was literally for just a second and it broke it doesn't turn on anymore i took the battery out just in case anything happens because it was literally full-on soap so i just have to use this big camera now hopefully the quality is good i don't like using this camera because i don't feel like the quality is as good as the other one i feel like it's a very like plain dark and i don't know let me know what you guys think of this camera but we're not gonna cry because every time i break my camera i cry and i've literally bought seven cameras of those so i just need to maybe it's a sign to just change cameras or something like that and use a different type of camera but we're gonna take our bath now and relax while doing face masks while i drink my green tea because i made some green tea and i still haven't tried it yet so we're just gonna unwind for the day and literally end the day <laughs> This is my mom's bathroom and it is literally so cute. We're gonna do like a little haul. She has jojoba oil. I don't know what that does. She has this sugar scrub that I got her for, I think it was Christmas or her birthday. I don't even remember, but oh, it was Christmas. But this is like the best sugar scrub smelling thing ever. Like it's so, so good. And I wanna try this. I didn't even try it. I just bought it because I knew like their products smell so good. And I knew that this sugar scrub would smell good. Oh, it smells amazing. She has this she sugar scrub by tree hut these are amazing uplifting apple blossom i the scrub thing i guess this is to put the and then these are the type of face masks she got she was talking about this a while back how she got these face masks and she was like super excited she got it from marshall's there is the rose the gold and the cucumber i don't know if i'm gonna be using these i have like my own oh i left it over there that's a sign i'm gonna just use these i'm not getting up out of my bath just to go grab my own face mask so we're gonna try the green one i didn't even try my tea so we're gonna try that really quickly that's so good. I guess that's the lime flavor and I thought I wasn't gonna like it. I just really like the green. Right now I'm like in a green mood. That's why I chose this green face mask. She also has this little brush, so we're gonna use this. I don't even have a mirror right now, so we're just gonna use my camera. I don't think this is gonna have color in it. Oh, my boyfriend's calling me. It happened. Was it the big or small one? It was a small one, again. Okay. I think, I'm gonna say, I think it was a fine use of I'll just cry about it later. No, don't. <laughs> we were talking about how every camera I literally break. I cry every time. I'm not gonna cry about it. He was just saying that it was maybe probably just a sign for me to use a different camera. Maybe like that's literally what I need to do. So that's what we're doing. We're using this camera. We got the face mask on. I don't even know how long we're supposed to have this on for. I was gonna do something. Oh yeah, I was gonna set a timer. Do you ever go on you guys' phone and you're like, you're gonna do something, but then you forget what you're gonna do? That's me every time. We're actually gonna set a timer for 10 minutes. <laughs> I think it is so important to take care of yourself mentally and physically and just like around you. I'm talking about like your room, your car if you have a car, everything in the beginning of the month. Because if you want to achieve your goals, if you're setting goals for every month or even for your year, the only way you're going to achieve it is if you have a system. And what I mean by system is like writing down what you're going to do every day, what you're going to do every month, every week like drinking water, working out, going for a walk, waking up no later than past 10 a.m. You know what I mean? You want to find things that are healthy, that are good, that are gonna help you grow into this person that you want to be. Like if you go on Pinterest and you're like, oh my God, I wish I was this girl, I wish I was this girl. Don't think like that, just, just do. do. Find something to do. I don't know, like go on a walk. If you see a girl on Pinterest going on a walk, like a picture of those 0.5 ones and you're like, oh my God, I wish I was that aesthetic. Grab your favorite pair of clothes and go on that walk. Find a trail somewhere or walk your pet if you have a pet literally do anything you could possibly do to reach your goals that you want to be if you want to be that girl you can be that girl you know what i mean i think the most important thing that i love to do is this like monthly reset routine which i think is so important to do 
through just because that's the only way I can reach my goals if I reset. If I don't clean my room every month, I don't change my sheets out every two weeks, I don't take care of my skin, do my skincare, drink water. My camera's card storage literally just died for a second, but what I was saying is if you're not doing those little things to take care of yourself, then you're obviously not gonna be that girl, you know? It's kind of like just the truth. If you're just waking up late every day and eating like crap, not doing things that your body wants you to do, then you can't like reach that healthy lifestyle that you want to do. And I literally, like, I'm gonna tell you guys this, it wasn't easy for me. I'm not like that every single day, obviously. Some days I just wanna lay in bed and I just wanna eat ice cream or watch Netflix. Like that is what I'll do some days, but most of the days I try to strive for the best as I can every single day. I show up, I wake up, I do my things that I have to do and that helps me keep going at a routine and it gets easy at certain point. But if you stop doing those things and you just start doing your old habits like I used to do, I used to literally stay in bed all day. I would not do anything and I'm just being completely honest with you guys. That was literally me like three months ago and I just picked myself back up and I was like, okay, I need to actually get my videos done. I need to do the things that I love to do like go on a walk. So just doing certain things that you would want to do, literally just set goals for yourself and it will help you so much to get out of like that dark tunnel that you're in. If you're struggling right now, like I promise you, if you set goals like for the year or the month or just do a monthly reset, then I'm telling you guys, you guys will get like motivated. That's just the truth. I get motivated when I set goals and I have things that I want to achieve. I'm obviously going to show up every day to try to achieve those goals as fast as I can because I want to achieve them. By the end of the month, I want to look at my goals and be like, wow, I actually achieved those things because I showed up every day. I woke up early. Hopefully this is motivating you guys to do the same thing as I'm doing. What? How long is this? 10 minutes? I feel like I've been talking for like an hour now. Oh, there's two minutes left. Wow. Now I'm basically going to be writing in my journal. I just recently got this journal and it's called the wellness journal and you can have goals written in here. You can write your thoughts. You can write how the day went, everything, intention for the day. So I'm going to start using this. You guys are probably going to see more of this in my videos. Literally is so cute. It says my self care and then my names at the top. It's adorable. Okay, so here's this page. It's called the feel good goals. Take three intentions to focus on, set a measurable goal and break it down into small steps to help you get there and then you write your goal and then steps to get there obviously so it's kind of like what i was saying like writing down a system kind of like making a list of things that you can do to get to your goal you know what i mean so go off of that if you want to be a healthy girl then write down drink water eat healthy work out stuff like that you know what i'm saying so i'm gonna write down some goals and steps to get there So I have finished setting my goals. So I have more goals than I am gonna write on my Notion because I always write on my Notion, but I wanted to use like a journal this time. Comment down below the camera emoji if you made it up to this point of the video. I love you guys so much. Hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know if you guys want more videos like this and make sure to subscribe if you're not already and go follow my Instagram. Love you guys so much. I will see you in my next video. Bye guys. Bye.